I'm not sure if you're the same as me, but I always find the most time consuming part of video editing is taking out all of those silences, all of those pauses, you know, when you're screen recording and you have to stop and move the screen or move to a different part. Or when you're just thinking about your next point, those parts, there can be dozens of them in any recording. Taking them out can take you a good 10, 15 minutes to go through it all. Well, there's a way in Adobe Premiere to actually do this really simply, really easily, and in literal seconds. So let me show you how that works. And I'll give you a little tip at the end as well. Stay past the tutorial. At the very end, I'll tell you how I record my videos with these silences so that the editing is much easier at the very end and so that I can actually get a video out in literal minutes, just 10, 15 minutes to actually record and then edit a video and get it onto YouTube and published. For more of these, I cover all sorts of editing production tips for video, for podcasting, for anything related to content creation. Hit subscribe so that you get updates for all my new videos. First thing we need to do is look at the transcription. So as soon as you bring a video in these days, Premiere will start to transcribe it. So open up window and then text and you'll see the transcription here. Hopefully it's already done, but you might have to wait a little while for that to finish up. But as soon as you're in here, you can see that the pauses, the silences are shown by these little triple dots in the square brackets. So you can see the length of those. There's a 33.6 second pause. And if I click on it, you can see it down in the timeline here. It'll highlight what that pause is. So they are all included in the transcription alongside your text. Now there's a really easy way to get rid of them. Just go to the filter, click that, then go to pauses and it highlights all of the pauses. You can see them all highlighted in the transcription. Now click delete and you've got two options. So lift will actually extract all of the silences but leave the gaps in the timeline and extract We'll take them out and then compress the timeline down. Let me just show you what they look like. So extract is the one you probably normally want to go with. So let me show you extract. So if I hit extract and then delete all, look down in the timeline and you see that all of the silences have been removed now. You can see all of those little cuts and the whole thing has been brought together. It's a ripple delete on every single one of those gaps. Let's undo that though, bring them back and I'll try the lift just to show you that. So filter. Pauses, delete, a lift, and then delete all, and you see it leaves the gaps. So it depends on what you want to do, but normally you'd be using extract so that it just brings it all together for you. So what about my workflow? How do I use this to make editing actually much easier overall? Not just removing the silences, but thinking about recording. This is the thing often, whether it's podcasting, video podcasting, YouTube recording, Thinking about how you record and using little tricks in there makes it much easier to edit on the other end. So here's an example of how I use this in my workflow. This is cut out the silences, so I can see obviously there's a few different takes here. So what I do is I don't have to listen to the whole thing. I don't have to listen to all of these clips. All I do is I click a few seconds before each of the cuts and I press play. Your audio editing, and of course, talking to good tools. If you're looking for one, so there's one there. And of course, talking to great tools. Oh, so there's a repeat. So I know that that was a bad take and this is potentially the better take, but I go through and listen to the next first. That's our, and of course, talking to better tools, if you want a better, and of course, talking of better tools. <laughs> so I know I did that one pretty badly. I obviously took those three takes and then this one. I know I would keep listening, but I know this was the right take. So what I would do is just select all of those and delete. And I know that that has now removed all of those. So that's saved me listening editing. through this whole course, thing. Talking about all I'm doing is editing the cuts because I know that every time I make a mistake, I pause and therefore those pauses are causing these cuts. These cuts act as bookmarks for edits or mistakes. Now, the only flaw in that is if I make a mistake and I don't pause, so say I actually tried that as part of this take, I wouldn't know that necessarily. So what I often do, I didn't do it here, but what I often do is I'll say, I'll pause and I'll say the words edit point. And that'll tell me better that tool. when I listen to that take, it'll and tell course, me that during the previous take, I made a mistake. And so I just have to then, it's a signal for me to go back. It does call record and listen through and find the start of that take, find those same words and cut from there. Essentially with a bit of a mindset shift, you can start to use those pauses, those silences, as markers, bookmarks in your edit to help you find them when you're actually editing in Premiere at the end of the day.
So I hope that helps a little bit. It's a very simple little thing, but it does help me a lot when I'm editing to cut down the time it takes to produce the final product to just get out there in the world. Remember, I cover all sorts of production editing tips for podcasting for YouTube. Hit subscribe so that you get alerts for every new video I put out there. And if you're looking for a tool to make that editing really easy for your podcasting particularly, try out Alitu. Alitu is our podcast maker app. Helps with call recording, audio cleanup, the editing side of things too. It can find those silences. And it's also got podcast hosting in there as well. It's over at alitu.com, A-L-I-T-U.com. And it offers a seven day free trial so you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.